King of Lesotho is appointing a cabinet minister to run the country. That after the military's actions over the weekend caused the prime minister to flee to neighboring South Africa. Prime Minister Thomas Tabane called the military's disarming of police a coup attempt. But an army spokesperson says the military only stepped in after hearing that the police plan to arm political fanatics preparing a demonstration. The command of the Lesotho Defense Force acting after receiving several intelligence reports that amongst the police service there are some elements who are actually planning to arm some of the political party political youth fanatics who were on the verge of wreaking havoc Military officials in Lesotho say soldiers have returned to their barracks and the situation in the country is calm. A South African government spokesman said no one is claiming leadership in the country. However, he said the military's actions have the markings of a coup. Because our interest is that uh, political problems have to be resolved through political means, peaceful means, and that means dialogue. Uh, uh, the one thing, however, that SADC will not uh, tolerate and South Africa, as well as the African Union, the entire continent, is unconstitutional change of government. We can't have coup d'etats in 2014. Uh, if there are political problems, people must sit and talk. The Prime Minister told VOA he had received word that he was the target of a military assassination attempt. Lesotho's fragile coalition government is said to have collapsed several months ago. Tiny island nation, or the tiny nation, which is surrounded by South Africa, has struggled to maintain political stability since gaining independence from Britain in 1966.